because you showed them some empathy. You showed them something financially. You showed them something sexually. You showed them something that they desire to have their whole entire lives. So when you become their property, they're merely trying to get you wined and dined, groomed, and in the bedroom fast as possible. I mean, fast as possible. They're going to approach you fast as possible. They may touch on you. They may kiss on you. They may hug you a lot. They may, they got so many games. They may say, I love you fast. They may tell you they love you. They're going to talk your head off. They're going to do all kinds of things fast. Because they need you to become part of their property. See, you another house or housing on their land. They is the land, you are the house. So whenever they can wheel you in, it's uh, however long it takes. They're gonna put in the work until they test you. And if you pass the test, then they know now you are grounded. Now they can build a foundation and make you part of the land, which is them, which they call it a trauma bond. Now you want to get out. You want to get out so bad. You tell all your friends, you tell your family, but then you tell them to hush. You tell your family, don't say nothing about it. You tell your girlfriends, don't tell nobody. But yeah, this was going on. And then you immediately go back to his or her command. And then there go your friends looking at you like, uh, uh, uh. looking at him like, or her like. But now you you are creating a trauma crowd, cause now they're traumatized off of your trauma. Instead, you can just pack up, listen, or disappear. A lot of y'all scared to be homeless. A lot of y'all scared to lose materialistic stuff. A lot of y'all just scared flat, flat out. Y'all just scared to lose, period. That is a problem. You will always be the narcissistic person property. Because you don't know how to sell it. And you do not know how to foreclose it. So you're going to just take care of all the expenses. And all the expenses of a property is high. They are very expensive. Sometimes it's overwhelming. It's, it's beyond your means. So me saying this, being the narcissistic person property is so overwhelming. You will have all kinds of diseases. You will look all kinds of ways. You'll start going on... Um, dark trails start picking up dark habits now you are connected to that narcissistic person dark portal now you are part of the portal and that's how they do with property they make property everywhere they go almost Soon as they get out the car, their radar is on what woman I can talk to first, and they go and they. Oh, I mean, they just like a computer. I'm sorry, but they. And if they can lock eyes, and they done locked all our eyes, but some eyes they wish they never locked with, and that is us, the super impasse. We cut them deep at the end. They cut us deep halfway in. Because they can tell right off the gate we different. Now, if you grade A supply, man, they want you to be, you the, you the main property they don't want to get away. They do not want that grade A supply property to get away at no cost. The properties that they got on the outside world, they don't let people know. That's my, that's my wife or 
That's my girlfriend. Or that's my fiance. That's my man. You got to respect her. Or you got to respect him. The outside properties know about the main property. That's the property they don't want to get away at all. That property get away. They get ready to go sabotage the side properties. Now they got to add on. They got to go out here and search for someone that looked like the main property. That's why the grade A supply, they tried to kill them or kill them. Because they know they ain't going to find nothing, nothing, not nothing like that ever again. Because that's a one-time offer to them. Because they don't want to go do the work and get a second offer or get a third offer. However, but you got to put in the work. They don't want to put in the work and see that grade A supply. That supply right there, man, look, they, they'll kill a man just by looking at him him or her this is real stuff so when you become property of the narcissistic person you got to understand what role you play or what your property is worth to that narcissistic person because narcissistic people is like a monopoly board they the expense what is the expense of the property on monopoly i can't remember but y'all know what i'm saying put it in the comments for me well what is the um the great a supplies the the most highest property on the monopoly board and then all the other stuff is, you know, you go and pay such, such, such. You got to know what, what, um, where you stand with the North. Because sometimes you, you be feeling something that they totally don't feel. That's why you got to see how the North move. You got to understand how they move. That's why I'm going to help y'all out. Because some of y'all is already in the trauma bond. Some of you aren't. Some of y'all are out. And if you're out, stay out. And if you're a great A supply, a great A supply got away, I ain't even got to tell you to stay out. You gone. You you ain't even going to look back. You're just looking at them like, they be begging. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't even want to hang with them. You ain't going to hang with them. I don't hang with mine. Now, since my daughter passed away, my ex, he'll call every now and again and then he we get on FaceTime or whatever, whatever, and I have to just laugh at him because he's, he's He's putting on a whole show, and I'm like, man, it, it's funny now. Like, I can laugh at you because I know what you up to. And they don't realize that the love is gone with the great A supply. Once we walk away, super empaths, whatever empath you call us, once we walk away, we don't think about you no more. We definitely know we ain't your property no more. When we, when we did get brought, because we got brought, but one thing about the great A supply, the narcissistic man or woman loves them dearly. They love them dearly. Now, they do show their true love. They just have, you know, um, evil traits. But they can, you can make them your property. If they truly is attracted to you by everything, not just your outside. They're attracted to your heart. They're attracted to your personality. They're attracted to everything about you, your appearance, and your, um, your heart, and your soul. That narcissistic person will become your property. I am a living witness. And the only reason why I did not make it lifetime with anybody I was with is because they became too much of my property. And I need a man. Not a grown boy. I actually, and I'm sorry to say it that way. But I actually, all three of those narcissistic men that I was with, <clears throat> excuse me, not bragging or boasting because that's something I accept. I absolutely do not do. They became very submissive to me. And I couldn't have that. I couldn't have that because you are a man. I supposed to be submissive to you. You don't supposed to be submissive to me. But honey, I was submissive in the beginning. Because I knew what I was doing. I was like, oh my goodness, this man is rough. You know, in the beginning, he got me. And I'm like, ooh, did you hear his cry, Father? And that's when I used to hear people say God. But at that time, I didn't say God. I, I mean, Father, I said God. But I said, did you hear his cry? Or do I got to slay this man? And I always had to slay him. 
because they 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 do have a real and i got to go i'm over my time they do have a real genuine beautiful loving caring side but the only reason why it was too late for them with me is because they put me through so much hell and high waters by the time i got them to surrender i was out i was done are you now you surrendering and i'm finished yeah but y'all they do have a real i'm just like right now i'm just looking at well my kid's father he's dead but the other two i'm looking at like right down in my head like now you want to submit but y'all real talk they do have a real loving caring genuine side that'll knock your socks off but you got to go through so much to get to them. blessings